Today we're getting ready to do lesson 4.4 of geometry today, um, the Pythagorean theorem and the distance formula. If you need more materials for this course, email me here and I'll get right back to you. 4.4, the Pythagorean theorem and the distance formula, 26 points here of classwork and then six points here of notebook taking this is part two of this lesson 4.4 before you use the pythagorean theorem now you use the distance midpoint and slope formula so you can compare points of interest on a map here is an example here to find the distance between points a and and b draw a triangle as shown here so we draw a line here, then draw a, uh, a rise line, and then a run line this way. And then we can use coordinates to figure out distance. The distance between points A and C is the absolute value of the difference of their x-coordinates. Points B and C lie on a vertical line so b and c here or the distance here is a vertical is the absolute value of the difference of their y coordinates so you have difference of y coordinates which up here this is a six and then this is a two and then the uh, the x coordinates will be the vertical or rather the horizontal will be the negative three and four so that would be your uh, distance there of that Okay, then the lengths of the legs of triangle ABC are AC would be 7, and then BC would be 4. So because AB is the length of the hypotenuse of the triangle, use the Pythagorean theorem to find AB. So we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem for to find the distance of that. We know AC and BC, we plug that into our formula here and we get the square root of 65 would be the length of AB. And then the distance formula, again, is a D equals X2 minus X1 squared plus Y2 minus Y, Y1 squared in this situation here. That'd be another way that you could do it is by using the distance formula but we use the pythagorean theorem instead for that okay now wait a minute we're going to go through that again to find the distance between points a and b we can use the pythagorean theorem here is what we did and we also use the distance formula to find that as well so you can use either one if you can't make a, a right triangle then you can use the distance formula for that okay example one finding the distance between two points uh find the distance between uh six three and five seven i mean you can plot points here here are your two points here six three uh is here then five seven is here so to find the distance between those and there's your line segment between that what's the difference uh the distance of that line segment we just plug that into our distance formula here so five minus six so we go five minus six and then seven minus three and then we square those differences and we get negative one squared plus four squared we get uh 17 underneath the radical so it'll be the square root of 17 will be the difference here, uh, the distance of this line. <clears throat> the distance between these two points would be a square root of 17 units for that. And then furthering on here, we do this again, I guess, for you to review, if you wish to review, here it is again. And it'd be square root of 17 units for that. Okay, let's try one here in a guided practice and then an independent practice here. Let's try uh, both of these, but we're going to try this one here first in our guided practice. So we have, uh, here's our line here between negative 1, 3, and then 5, and then 2 here. So 
um, to plug that in now into our uh, distance formula, we plug that in, 5 minus the negative 1, and then negative 2 minus 3 would be here. And then we add those two uh, differences there after we squared them. And we get 36 plus 25, which is square root of 61. So this distance here would be the square root of 61 for that there. Example 2 using distance formula. We have a bird watcher who uses a grid to photograph and record locations of birds feeding on the ground. The grid is the location of a bird. How far apart are birds A and B? So we want to know how far apart these two birds are here of A and B. So to find that, the coordinates are 3, 2, and 7, 5. This is 3, 2, and then this will be 7, 5. We have our two coordinates here. So we can plug that into our distance formula. And then we have, uh, we have 7 minus 3, and then 5 minus 2. We square those differences, and we get 4 squared plus 3 squared. And that would become the square root of 25, which is 5. So the distance between those A and B are 5 feet. That's an example of using your distance formula. Let's go into a guided practice now for that. Uh, an example too, how far are uh, how far apart are birds C and D? So we have this bird here, and then we have this bird here. How far apart are these two birds? And then down here you have yours. Find a distance between B and C for you and your independent practice here. Okay, so to find this distance here, again we use our distance formula, 1, 7, and 9, 1. So this is 1, 7, and then 9, 1. Uh, so we plug that in. Here's our distance formula. So we have 9 minus 1 over 1 minus 7. And then we square that difference. We get a squared plus negative 6 squared, which is 64 plus 6, which is, guess what? Square root of 100, which is 10. So the distance here would be 10 feet, I suppose, is 10 feet. So that would be the solution to that. And that's 4.4 part 2, if you need any more. Materials, email here. Thank you very much.